I can believe somebody had the nerve to come and tell me my channel was dead. My channel ain't dead. I got videos for days. Bishop. I don't even have another custom to pull out. Damn. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. This time, it is of the Retro Deluxe War Machine figure, the new one. Uh, just came out. One of the homies on Instagram found it for me, sent it to me. Um, he found it at Target. Uh, it's a really nice figure. It's a really exceptional figure. I just wanted to modify it a bit. Um, I'm going to go over these modifications. Before we get started with that, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you like what you see, uh, hit that notification bell, like, comments. Likes and comments really help the videos get around, help more people see them. So greatly appreciate it if you could like and comment and share these videos too. Let's get into it. All right, so here we have um, the War Machine. I modified it a bit. I didn't like how he, he had a really skinny cannon on this side and nothing over here, nothing on his hips. Just one cannon and two shoulder cannons. Um, I wanted him to have more because I modified my other War Machine. I have another War Machine I've been working on for like th this whole entire year. Just haven't finished it. I recently got into 3D printing, so... It, it, 3D printing really helps me modify my figures like I've never been able to do before because I can I don't have to strictly just kit bash I can literally find a file modify it and shrink it and put it on a figure like I did here um, I don't know what this cannon is from if you do let me know in the comments but I found this cannon on Thingiverse I found this cannon on Thingiverse and this cannon was on Thingiverse too but I modified the panels to make it look like it popped out of his arm um, I also modified these hip cannons these these aren't um, on Thingiverse. I had to. I chopped up a gun. I duplicated it and added a cap. I did all kind of little stuff to it. Um, I wanted War Machine to look a little more loaded out, and I feel like this really uh, completes the look. Now, this is a, a special thing for me because, like I said, not only did I create these, modify some things, but I also made these uh, in kits so I can sell them to you guys. So you so you don't have to just look at my custom, you know. I said it a lot on this channel, the way I customize it so anybody can pick it up. So I did make these kits. Uh, they're available whenever uh, you're ready. I have a link in the description to my Instagram. That's where everything I sell everything through Instagram. But uh, pretty much, it's, this is the left the the left arm cannon, the hip cannons, and then the 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 other cannon. The only thing you'll have to do is modify your skinny cannon tips to fit in here if you want the effects to work. Uh, if you want the effects to be uh, working on this cannon, you have to just modify. And all I did was cut them off. I cut them in half. I heated up the plastic, soft plastic. And I stuffed them in there. That's all I did. But yeah, uh, link in the description to the kit if you want to buy it. I'll put a link to the... I don't know if I can link the post, but I'll link my uh, my Instagram. But yeah, that's really special to me because I like... I want you guys to have this too. I want you guys to be able to see it and 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 modify yours. And I actually sold a few kits already, so I'm excited to see pictures whenever they get them. Few people have this figure, a few people don't. Um, but yeah, it really helps sell, you know, a, a better armored up war machine. The cannon really... The cannons on the... The arm cannons really help too because he only had one before. So I really wanted to to drive home the fact that he was, you know, a war machine and he could do some damage. Let's see if I can get this posed up really quick. It's kind of that's kind of an awkward pose, but you kind of get where I'm going with that. The the cannon they just look really good. I really like this figure. It's it's really a stellar figure, and it uh it exceeded my expectations because I didn't expect this articulation on the shoulder. If you can see it, I didn't expect this to swivel with the arm. I didn't expect that at all. And it goes up and down. It doesn't, like if I leave the arm like that, it doesn't, as you can see, it's just falling back in place. It's a really exceptional figure. I really like the articulation in the head too. I really like this. It's like a double ball peg right here. I really like that that piece of articulation. It just helps with, with head movement. And sometimes with Legends, when you just have the disc, uh, it kind of makes it to where some angles you can't get like this one, as you can see. If I'm on camera, which I think I am, his head is really expressive. So I really like that. But other than that, once I added the modifications to it, um, you know, it, it really drove it home for me. It really drove home to look at his figure. So let me put him in a, like say he's swooping down in a battle. I don't have the effects out. The effect, when I put the effects on everything, it looks really good. 
But say he's swooping out in the battle or he's flying off or whatever. You just have that look right there. It looks really good. But yeah, that's that's pretty much I've been working on this. I've been working on a lot of stuff actually. I have a lot of video reviews to do for you guys because I've been working on a lot of stuff. So um here's the war machine, retro deluxe war machine, whatever you want to call it, with the armor pieces on, like I said, for sale on my Instagram, link in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh thanks for watching.